I need your help to find the lieutenant. Our soldier friend said he saw Napoleon el Pequeño. See you at the boat. Keys are in the ignition. Don't wreck this one, okay? Thank you. We are taking a lot of risks for one lieutenant. You want to complain? You can swim. Nice boat. Is it yours? No, I stole it. Papa taught me how to hotwire tractors when I was a kid. Boats aren't so different. Hey, we have to get Carlos a doctor. Hmm. Good luck. He's coughing blood. He needs help. Papa took me fishing once. South of Costa del Mar. He's a hell of a rancher, but a shit fisherman. No patience. Couldn't cast. Kept snagging his line on the bottom. Even hooked himself in the lip. <laughs> Got so pissed, he threw a stick of dynamite in the water. Killed a lot of fish, but also put a fucking hole in our boat. We swam five kilometers back to shore. All these boats stopped to help, but Papa told them to fuck off. What does this have to do with Carlos being sick? I'm saying that the day Carlos Montero gets help, it's the day hell freezes over, Danny. Coño, you Monteros are stubborn. Not me, just Papa. <laughs> sure, sure. Shut up. Fucking tobacco. It was supposed to make our people rich. That's what Anton said anyway. See, si. that's how we got elected. Yes, and a lot of us voted for him. We believed in his promises. We thought it was going to be like the old days again. Like some kind of fantasy. We were so fucking wrong. If we want to change things, someone has to whip us all into shape. Bring us together. And it's not going to be Papa. Carlos doesn't have a plan. His plan is don't tell anybody what the fuck you're feeling ever. Don't trust anybody either, especially your own daughter. Just fucking react to whatever Napoleon el Pequeño throws your way. He's old school. Reminds me of my headmaster in the orphanage. Strict, tough as shit, but if he liked you, he had your back for life. Hmm. That kind of thinking is gonna get us all killed. We can't keep reacting to Jose. It's not working. We need to try new things. Be agile. Stay one step ahead of that little hijo de puta until he's dead. I'm with you. Good answer, Danny. You smoking Mexican? Tobacco out here has been vivido. Can't even smoke our own anymore. Come and meet us. Shit. ¿Qué pasa? Jose fucking Castillo. Anton's bitch of a nephew. Lo veo y no lo creo. What's he doing? He's, uh, he's... With the lieutenant we were looking for. Looks more like a scientist. Let's take Jose out. No. 
might hit the lieutenant. What's going on? Fuck. Hey, over there. I need to know where that scientist is going. Let's search his place for intel. Let's go. Maybe his friend by the helipad. Can help. We were chosen by General Castillo to patrol his personal island. That means he trusts us. That means you and me are going places. I guess you didn't hear us. Intel on where that scientist went. This says Jose has a villa on the north side of the island.
No password, idiota. Let's see what we got here. El pequeño has a fucking torture chamber filled with outcasts. It's under the lighthouse just south of here. Cojones. Can you let me in? Done. I'll stay and see what else I can find. Suerte, Danny. Please, please, just let me go. Le doy gracias a Dios por ti. Gracias. José es un monster. But I didn't do anything. Go! Don't leave anyone behind! Ah, Espada. José was using this place as his own little torture chamber. He had outcasts in there, but I freed them. Enfermo. Mental. I shouldn't be surprised. Good work, though, Danny. I found where that scientist works. The Singao we saw earlier. His lab's in Refmira. Meet me there. Okay. Then are you going to tell me what's really going on? You'll know when I need you to know. You're a new face. Lost tourist? Listen, Carlos, I know you don't trust me or Clara or Libertad. 
for all the other little come mierda she sent. And I don't blame you. We got no history here. You got that right. What else you know? I know that Napoleon El Pequeño stole your land. I know that the poison he sprays on your fields is killing your people. I know that you're sick. And you would rather die than ask for help. Don't throw anything away that you can use. The depot where they store the poison? Burn it to the ground. The dusters. They spray the tobacco. Rip them apart. The fumigators in the fields. Kill them all. You got it, Jefe. Send me a postcard. So why do you want this guy so bad anyway? El Come Mierda checks all the tobacco leaves for the Vivido process. We fuck up the leaves, we fuck up the cancer drugs, we fuck up Napoleon e Pequeño's operation, make him look bad in front of old Uncle Anton. A lot of heat. So how you wanna do this? We kill soldiers until we find him. And then? And then we kill more soldiers. Simple. I like it.
Get away from me! God, fuck me, mierda! Mierda is right. You look like shit, hermanito. Hermanito? We've been hunting your brother this whole time? Who the hell are you? Why didn't you just tell me? Alejandro, come on. We're going home. Vete pa'l carajo. Ale. Suéltame. Cojones. I'm not going anywhere. I told you before, and I am telling you now. I believe in Castillo. I believe in Viviro and Jose. He's seen the vision through. Napoleon el Pequeño is a slave driver. He's fucking loco. <laughs> Says the person trying to kidnap me. You change your name. You change your uniform, but you are still a Montero. And Papa still got a machete up his ass. And you are running through the jungle like you did when you were five. Except now you kill people and you call yourself, what is it, the spike? The sword. How clever. What? You are going to stab me now? Papa is sick. I don't care. Papa gave up on me a long time ago, and you know it. Family's a bitch, no? That's what I hear. We should split up. Not a word about this to Papa. Papa! A special message from Presidente Castillo to Yara. Hey, El Tigre. I'm at the Crab Rock. Very... artistic. Lorenzo's the artist, and we guerrillas are like the crabs. Hard shells? Sharp claws? They fight from the jungle to give birth in the ocean. We fought from the ocean and gave birth to la revolution. See, si. I got it. Take the footpath up the mountain, very easy. A guerrilla must be short-footed, like a goat. Goat? I thought we were like a crab. Hello? Venga. Handsome looking croc you got there. Oye, Libertad. You looking for the legend? What? Looks like the waterfall from El Tigre's photo. Need to get up there. El Tigre. I'm at the waterfall picture. It was taken after a bloody battle. Three days of hiding paid off when a platoon of paratroopers landed right in our kill zone. Planning and patience are Garia's best friends. Those a handful of grenades. <laughs> the waterfall ran red that day. You know, with all the blood. From the soldados we killed. Because it was a lot. Yeah, I get it.
Accidentally unblock it. Exactly. really disappear up here would make an army blind how is the air both thick and thin at the same time the next picture let me guess guerrillas are like sharks deadly predators with knives as sharp as teeth actually that rock just looked like a shark who's the one dangling underneath it that's lucky mama we never knew when the soldado would find our camp so we had to secure fast ways up and even faster ways down lucky always volunteered to be the first to test the lines brave I hear you're brave, too. Clara told me about you. You know, I also grew up without a mama or papa. And you still became a legend. <laughs> Many guerrillas are orphans, baby Tigre. But it's not our parents who define us. It's our actions. It's like that. El Tigre, I'm at the statue. Yesterday was the anniversary of his death. That explains the hangover. Every year I drink two bottles of rum. Just forget it. One for me, and one for Lobo. I never lived to see a free Yara. To be honest, neither did I. This is the last pick. Felicidades! Kicked in the cojones a thousand times. I haven't felt them since 72. Hey! Never do that again. What? Mi casa su casa, baby tigre. Come on. Me the family. Lucky, my nose is broke again. I'm not your fucking mother. There are people out there who are actually hurt. I am suffering. Ay, easy, mama. Herpes doesn't count. Meet Lorenzo Canseco, poet of the legends. Well, I sense the hot blood of a fighter. And of course, you know Lucky Mama, heart of the legends. It's not broken. Really? I thought it'd go crazy. Merda! Another patient? Hmm. Looks like La Moral to me. I'm Dani Rojas from Libertad. The new fist of the revolution. No, Clara sent me. Libertad needs the legends on our side, heroes to believe in. To fight another Castillo? He's exactly what Yara deserves. Buena suerte. Sorry. One revolution was enough. Looks like Clara was wrong. Have faith, Danny. They just need to get to know you. Come see me when you get settled. <laughs> My baby Tigre. <clears throat> Some of the old timers. 
first listen to Castillo's propaganda like it's the news. Really? And you should hear some of the shit they're saying. 